Is it recording? Yep. Is it, you sure? Looks like you're pushing a lot of buttons there. Hello. You're good. I'm not making a TV movie. Hi everyone in Facebook land. It's me doing something totally different. Me, Johnny, here on a Sunday. Um, yeah, I'm going to answer some questions because that's the best I can do at this point. Um, a message from Enrico Palazzo. In Italian, that would be Enrico Palazzo. I know how to say that because I'm more Italian than you know. Um, love songs in D. Great. I liked it too. That uh, just came about. It wasn't something that was planned. I definitely was not looking at making a solo record. But um, it was something that happened with a friend of mine, uh, Rob Laybach. And um, yeah, he, I was working on some stuff. He heard it and he, uh, geez, said, hey, wow, this is great. I had three songs. Next thing you know, I got 14. Next thing you know, much music. Not much. Yeah, much music. Wanted to do a video and yeah, I had a record. Anyways, love to do it again, but I'll definitely do it differently. Okay. Next question. Um, Wayne Patterson, are you guys coming back to Calgary? Yes, we are coming back to Calgary. We're going to be playing New Year's Eve in Calgary at the Deerfoot Inn. And I'm hoping they can have some seating arrangements. Because last time there were some people sitting down and there were some uh, crazy Honeymoon Suite fans behind them. And they got kicked out. It was uh, really sad to see them go. Judy Spencer, happy Easter. Happy Easter to you too. Um, just wondering when you guys are going to play some of your newer stuff, live example. If Tomorrow Never Comes, love that track. It was just, uh, uh, we were in the, it was the summertime, we met Aldo Nova, and uh, geez, got together with him. Derry and I flew to Montreal, uh, covered this track in about two or three days. And uh, yeah, it came really quick, and uh, I'm not sure whether we should be playing it live or not. I'm not sure what the consensus is on it. I need a second. Welcome to a new environment. This is much better than the piano. It made me feel like making music. So, I want you, I gotta introduce you to my friends. You go back that way. This is Betsy, and this is Betty. <laughs> when Betsy hurts, Betty fixes. <laughs> All right, uh, where am I? Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, Ralph Haitian, do you still ride? Huh, I still ride motocross. I just don't drive on the road anymore. I've busted this leg twice, and I'm a little bit scared about being on the road with a Harley these days. And, um, an airplane is bad enough, I guess. So I'll be riding for a little while. <laughs> um, Scott Hughes, um, first couple HFs, HMS albums ever be remastered? Will they be remastered? Jeez, man, that's a record company question. I'm not the guy for that to answer that. <laughs> no, I don't have my 883 from when you lived in the beaches, and that's from. Nicole Conte? Yeah, no. I got rid of that a long time ago. Um, actually traded it for a 1969 Camaro, which was appraised for a lot of money. <laughs> oh, you're rooting for the playoffs. <laughs> Give me a motocross, um, what do you call it, channel to watch. And that's what I do. I'm not into sports that much. Um, Ian Desolaris is French. 
How about how about a duet with a Canadian rock chick? Get one to ask me. I'll gladly do one. <laughs> Coming to Hamilton one day. That's from uh, Lori. Geez, man, I can't pronounce these friggin' names. Uh, Raquana. I'm looking forward to hoping to see you guys. We play Hamilton all the time. Just check it out. Check it out on the website. Cheers. Boat cruise, Jennifer Anderson, just a comment, can't wait you on the boat cruise. Oh yeah, as if that's going to happen. I hope it does. Uh, well, if I'm on it, and you're on it, I guess I'll see you and say hi. If Tracy Osmond, if you could jam with a deceased singer, who would it be? Geez, I don't even want to go there. Uh, Matt Bellison, uh, will you ever play California? Yeah. <laughs> Give me a call, or give us a call. We'll be there in a sec. Do you remember Frank Watt? I'm sure if I seen his face, I would remember him. I'm a little bit more happier here, being the crabbiest guy in Toronto. In this environment. Lisa Turcott. Uh, she liked the show in uh, the Gruen Theater. Yeah, it was great to play at home. Sorry I couldn't get it to... No, I'm not sorry I couldn't get to everybody. I don't got eyes in the back of my friggin' head. You know, um, we did the best we could for that show. There's a lot of family there, and, uh, you know, did the best I could to say hi to everybody. But if I did, didn't, didn't get to everybody, then oh well. See you next time, if you're a true fan. You'll see me, or I'll see you. Cheers. Um, Chris Alexander. What's the story with We Got the Night? Okay. We Got the Night is a song that Derry wrote, so there you go. <laughs> you best send that to him. Uh, Rose Sheridan, do you keep any fan letters from the 1980s? My mom uh, took care of all my fan letters and all that sort of stuff in the 80s, and you know, I brought them home to her after I've read them, and she kept them kind of like in her own little. Uh, I don't know what you call it, but. Anyways, that house has since been burnt down, unfortunately, and uh, we lost a lot of stuff, unfortunately. Wow. Is this the craziest friggin' thing I've ever done, or what? Oh, uh, Carol Hempstead. What are the best memories of you touring with Hart? Um, after like about 30 shows, I guess the best memory of, of that tour was actually meeting them. A uh, bottle of champagne right at the end of the show. And, hey guys, good to know you. See you later. That's what it was. Whatever happened to Ray Coburn? Ray Coburn, yes, of course. Um, uh, we're friends. He's like, I just called him like a couple weeks ago. We're going to be doing some writing together. So Ray is a great friend of mine. Another. Um, Kim Fulton. Uh, social media. Social media is comfortable for one of you. What a great question. I mean, that's friggin' crazy. I'm sitting out here in a friggin' whatever doing this. Yeah, it's changed a whole lot of things. Not to be a jerk or anything, but I'm just trying to get to everybody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Rory Helmick. Yeah, the Aldo Nova thing was great. We, like, we wrote a song, Tomorrow Never Comes Together. So, that was the end of that until we can get back together with Aldo. What a great guy, though. You know, what a great writer. What did I think of Who's Army's version of Feel It Again? What a compliment. What a compliment to Ray Cobra, Coburn. What a compliment to Honeymoon Suite. That was amazing. I mean, like, just to be there and watch these guys uh, play that song the way they felt it should be played. It was great. So I'm to go through the pages like this, but I think that for The future for HMS. Um, Derry and I are writing all the time. 
Um, you know, it's a matter of, you know, uh, we got tons of songs. It's a matter of dairy is very fickle and so am I. It's what we want to uh, put out there to the public. So when we're comfortable uh, with what we've got written and uh, he's happy, I'm happy, then we'll send it out. Uh, otherwise, I mean, it's, you know, uh, we won't, I mean, unfortunately. But yeah, there's, we're always writing. Um, Dan Murta, Lethal Weapon. How did it get, you know, onto the Le Lethal Weapon movie? Record company stuff. Can't go there. Geez, another question about Ray Coburn. Okay, once again, Ray Coburn, great friend. Alive and well. He's out there doing more stuff than I am. <laughs> I'm sitting out here in the backyard answering questions that I don't uh, literally want to sit in front of a computer. <laughs> I'm just trying to say hi to everybody, you know the best I can. Um, Debbie Price, are we going to put out a new record? Of course we are. It's just a, just a matter of time. A matter of time and a matter of health. And now I'm back to Enrico Palazzo. You Italian, you. I got this thing at uh, 2.53 a.m. Maybe he's not from Ontario. Maybe he's from Ontario. See you at the show, folks. This was Betsy, right? Betsy. Betsy and Betty. Betsy and Betty. See you, Betty. <laughs> All right.